microneedling, a procedure that involves the use of tiny sharp needles to create small punctures in the skin, has emerged as a promising method to improve the delivery of topical drugs, as well as inducing growth factors that could be conducive to healing of either just regular skin or as a means of mechanical stimulation to hair follicles. When it comes to the scalp, especially the application of minoxidil, a commonly used drug to treat androgenetic alopecia or other forms of hair loss, the use of microneedling can increase the efficacy of drug absorption and lead to pivotal results. Both the derma pen or derma stamp and the derma roller are popular tools in the microneedling arena. However, when considering the safety and effectiveness of these techniques, the derma pen may possess distinct advantages over its rolling counterpart. To start with, it's crucial to understand the primary difference in mechanics between the two devices. The derma pen or derma stamp utilizes a vertical action where the needles penetrate the skin straight down. This direct action can ensure a uniform depth and minimize lateral movement, potentially reducing trauma to the skin or any forms of excess trauma to the skin. So really, we're trying to minimize the production of scar tissue because that's detrimental to hair follicles and its growth especially when you're using microneedles between 0.5 to 1.5 millimeters of length. On the other hand, the derma roller, true to its name, works by rolling across the skin, leading the needles to enter and exit the skin at an angle, thereby possibly creating more tearing and trauma. This leads to the primary concern regarding derma rolling on the scalp, the potential for hair follicle damage. The hair follicle is a delicate structure and any excess lateral stress or traction could result in damage or trauma. So you could have androgenetic alopecia, which is a form of non-scarring hair loss. But once you damage the hair follicle enough and create scar tissue, that's a form of scarring hair loss, and that is usually permanent. That means there's nothing they can really do to bring back the hair follicle. Minoxidil is likely not to work. You taking finasteride, it's likely not to work, and you have to already take into account that these follicles are already sensitive because of DHT. So you're already dealing with something that is weaker than a typical hair follicle. So because of that, I don't advocate the use of derma rolling. If you're going to microneedle, please use a derma pen or a derma stamp. Use something that has vertical movement and nothing that's lateral that can pull on the hair follicle and rip through it in weird ways. And another advantage of the derma pen or derma stamp over the roller is the potential for more consistent and uniform treatment. Since the pen or the stamp offers controlled punctures, there's reduced chances of variation in needle depth. And this is important if you want something that's more predictable in terms of outcome. Conversely, the rolling action of the derma roller might result in uneven pressure and depth leading to inconsistencies in treatment. So you may boost minoxidil absorption in one area because it's probably having more depth in terms, of, especially when it comes to the, the force in which you're using that derma roller to roll across your scalp. So you might get, like I said, more minoxidil absorption in one area of the scalp, but then on the other part of the scalp, Maybe you're not getting that much minoxidil absorption because realistically the derma roller wasn't going as deep due to the rolling, but it's a bit more manual, so maybe you weren't applying the same pressure in your rolling. And regardless of the chosen microneedling device, safety should always be paramount. While the derma pen may seem superior in some aspects to the derma roller, it's crucial to remember that any invasive treatment has associated risks. So this means you either have to dispose of already used microneedles or clean it effectively, preferably using alcohol. Because if these microneedles aren't sterilized and then you apply it to your scalp and then you get some sort of crazy ass infection, well, it's kind of like you're out of the frying pan and into the fire, so to speak. You try to solve one issue, but then you made it worse and now you're in a bigger issue. So that's something to think about. Plus also the frequency of your microneedling activities. I've seen people do it every single day online, which isn't a good idea because you really have to give your skin or your scalp skin a chance to recover. And if you're just microneedling every single day, it's not going to have that chance to recover and those growth factors are going to be, you know, it takes time for them to build up and get to that particular area of the site of the puncture. So you, you really have to just do it maybe once a week, maybe twice a month. I've seen other people recommend twice a month, three times a month, um, but I think once a week is probably good enough to be honest with you but yeah just don't get too overzealous with it like this guy on the screen if you're not looking right now this dude has like a bloody scalp 
Uh, I don't know why he went this far. I don't think anyone needs to go this far. But, yeah. It is, in my opinion, a very effective means in increasing absorption of topical applications, like I said before. Now, is it really going to increase growth factors? Maybe to some extent. But, in my opinion, I really think the benefits of derma rolling in regards to the scalp and androgenetic alopecia is increasing that absorption of topical minoxidil. That's what I think. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. It's a bit quick, it's a bit short, it's a bit ad hoc. The only reason why I made it is because I've been getting some questions recently in regards to derma rolling and microneedling in general, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on the matter. Also, if you're interested in buying the Derma Needle or Dermal Stamp, I'll leave like an Amazon affiliate link in the description. It'll help me out if you guys actually, you know, buy something from the list or use my affiliate code. But yeah, so if you watch this video and you got to the end, comment oranges. Yes, the fruit, the fruit orange. Comment that in the comment section below. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.